What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. And for today's uh, video uh, is actually a part 2 video for CRM. Whereas we have done uh, part 1 which we have covered the contact management. And for part 2 we'll be covering in terms of sales and customer opportunity management. So sorry, sales team uh, and customer opportunity management. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys. So in part one, we have covered in terms of creating contact management, which is the context and interaction table. Now in part two, we are focusing on the sales or I would say the opportunity module. So we have a sales team. And in sales teams, uh, we have the salesperson ID, first profile, which is the profile picture of the sales team or the salesperson, the name, email, phone, and region, if necessary. Of course, you can add more information or details of your sales team. Then moving on next will be the opportunities. So there is a difference between interaction and opportunities. So of course, uh, interaction is looking towards more on the interaction between you or the sales team with the prospect or customer. And opportunities is focusing more on the sales aspect and tracking potential revenue and managing the sales pipeline. So in opportunities, we have opportunity ID. Of course, again, to, to make sure every single transaction is indeed unique. Then we have contact ID. So of course, contact ID is going back and referring back to the contacts that we have in the contacts table. And salesperson ID, uh, I think it goes without saying, the sales team. And the opportunity stage, uh, we will cover that shortly later. The engagement level, the score, and of course, the estimated closing date. Last but not least, notes if you find it necessary so of course i have added this in the app but we'll just run through again the the types and settings that we can actually do in these two tables so let's head on to sales teams first so of course salesperson id uh, the initial value is unique id here you can see then we have profile, which we set as image so that we can actually upload the uh, image, the name, the email, the phone, and region. All right. So for opportunities, however, where well, there's a few additional settings that we may want to do, which I did. So for contact ID, I set it as reference. So reference for contact ID is referring back to the contacts table here you can see so that we can actually pull our customers or prospects information and of course next will be the salesperson id and of course this is referring back to the sales team table now for opportunity stage like any other crm uh, there are a few levels of opportunities when dealing with a prospect so here again is not the absolute way but this is just an example. So we have qualification, proposal, negotiation, and which is close whether you lost the opportunity or you close where you won the opportunity. All right. So for engagement level, of course, it's also enum uh, where we can do a drop down. So of course, uh, the, we have high, medium, and low. So this is the level of the engagement we have with our customers. Now, to measure the score, since we have score here, is to actually define the, the number, the score of our engagement with the customer. And the formula that I'm using is, of course, uh, depending on the condition of our engagement level, so let's say if <clears throat> our engagement level is high, therefore the score would be 100. If the engagement level is medium, therefore the, engage the score would be 70. 
And last but not least, if the engagement level is low, then the score will be 40. Again, this is a very basic or fundamental way of defining the score based on certain inputs that we do in our form. Moving on next would be the estimated close date and notes. And there you have it. So let's say, let's say we try to run this again. So uh, let's wait for it to synchronize. All right. So we have, let's create a sales, uh, uh, sales contact or salesperson. So I'll add one right now. Let's say we have a uh, handsome guy here called Alan Rick. All right. So Rick at test form, phone number, and region. Mm. So I've just created a sales team uh, ID here, or personnel, which is Alan Rick from uh, APAC region. And let's say we have a new opportunity. And let's say Mr. Alan here adds a new opportunity. And his contact would be the person that we created in part one, which is a customer. In this case, myself, Aris. And the salesperson ID would definitely be Alan Rick. And the opportunity stage, since it's still new, you can just put here as qualification. Now, when I hit the engagement level to low, you realize the score is calculated as 40 here. If I select medium, it's 70 and high is 100. So let's just put as medium and 70. Uh, let's put a note here, needs more motivation. To persuade, uh, to, um, to gain confidence for client. All right. And when I save it here, you can see the data has been um, recorded as such by the person, which is Alan Rick, for Aris, which is the customer. And the stage is qualification, engagement level is medium, score is 70. So of course, estimated close date, we should not be doing it by today. By default, it's today. We can change it maybe to close somewhere in January. Okay, let's save it here. All right, so whenever I go to Alan Rick, you can actually see for the salesperson, Alan Rick here, you can see his related opportunities since it's referred and it's connected with the opportunities table. You can see his uh, current opportunities. This would have the same behavior for any other salesperson. And of course, vice versa, if we go back to the customer itself, which we have covered in part one, we, have, we can actually see the interaction and of course the opportunities and who is actually currently handling, handling the opportunities or opportunity, sorry. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for part three. We'll be covering more uh, modules regarding CRM and I hope this has been very useful for you. If you do, don't forget to subscribe and give a like and do let me know what you'd like to see in the next one. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.